In this tutorial, we'll walk you through adding a customizable spin wheel to your whatnot streams using OBS and Wheel of Names, and this is a great substitute. So before we dive in, let's gather everything you'll need for this setup, sir. So first, get OBS Studio. You probably already have it, but if you don't, it's a free and open source software for video capture and live streaming, and you can download it at obsproject.com. The next thing we want is wheelofnames.com. We'll use this as a window capture. It's basically the free spin wheel generator at uh, we're going to use for this tutorial. And then next, what you want is a whatnot seller account. This is very easy to apply. The part that they ask you to verify, I believe, is just the cash out section. But yeah, I got this instantly. Um, it should be very easy. Just search up whatnot seller. And yeah, so... I actually made a video on whatnot randomizer a few times and some people in the comments actually told me that it hasn't been available for quite a while so if you've been streaming on whatnot for a while you might remember their built-in randomizer tool it used to be part of the seller interface a simple way to pick a random buyer during giveaways or games but in early 2024 i believe whatnot uh, made it unavailable and honestly a lot of us were bummed but without that randomizer, sellers had to either pick names manually, which feels unfair and sketchy, or completely remove the chance-based excitement from their shows. So here's the good news, however. If you're watching this video, we can bring it back, but better, better bigger, and way more customizable because we're using a spin wheel from a site called Wheel of Names and the streaming software like OBS Studio. This method gives us full control of the colors, names, prizes, sound effects, timing, everything. You can spin it live during your stream and show viewers exactly who won. So let's get into it. So as I said in the beginning, you want to have Wheel of Names and I have OBS right here because we're gonna add it to OBS in a second. But once you're in Wheel of Names, let's set it up your way. This could be, so for example, I could say, I can do a Pokemon bundle uh, prismatic for my first one. And you just go to the next line. You can just say uh, Pokemon, what, whatever, Pokemon bundle, I don't know, Charizard, whatever. It, whatever you want. It could be names of the audience members or specific G VIP members. And then you just have to click to sprint or press enter. And you can click customize if you want at the top, which is right here, customize. And you can choose the sound, whether you want it to be a ticking sound, no sound, random music, drum roll. Um, and you can even choose music if you want. Uh, I prefer specifically the ticking sound because I can choose my own music. And you can choose the spin duration. So if you want to be like really short, fast paced and excited for like specifically like a giveaway that you have multiple hundreds of viewers in, I would set it to like um, short or something, maybe like four seconds. And then you can have the max number of names. So all names in the text box have the same chance of winning regardless of this value. Um, you can set it to a thousand. Uh, it doesn't, it personally doesn't matter in my opinion because you just, you're adding the names anyway. So it's just going to add more and more. So then from there, you can do after spin. You can click the sound, subdued applause. You can choose the volume. You can also animate the winning entry or auto remove winner after five seconds. So this basically just whoever won the spinning giveaway, it just auto removes them. So for the next turn, it's just going to be the people who didn't win. So perhaps they have a better chance of winning the next giveaway. It's just like, like you don't want the winner to win multiple times type of thing. Right. And they can have a pop up with the message. We have a winner or you can say like uh, this person um, won the Pokemon giveaway, something like that. Right. Uh, I misspelled that. And you can also have a click sound when the winners remove if you want that. But, you know, it really doesn't matter. And you can do one color per section or you can do a background image. You can apply the theme. There's multiple themes like Antarctica or beach sunset, like for example, it just changes the type of like color theme. And then from here, what you want to do is after that, Wheel of Names gives you a unique URL for your wheel. And all of these tutorials that I've seen, and I've, I've made this personal mistake myself the first time, um, they go to OBS and I'll actually remove, I'll put my camera right here. They go to OBS and then they go to browser and then they just click, uh, here and they just copy and paste wheel of names right 
and they have the spin wheel right here. But the problem with this is if you click interact, if you clicked interact, I don't know if you see this, and you click these three bars right here, you have no way to customize the entry. I've tried so many times to customize the entries and you can only use these default values right here. You can actually change the uh, name and description, but personally, this doesn't uh, work for adding the specific, you know, um, entries that you want to add. So what to do, what you, what you actually need to do is you need to add in a window source. So you need to have this separately on another browser and you can use uh, two, you can use this as a virtual camera if you're streaming this onto specifically an uh, integrated uh, streaming platform that whatnot has. So this is just a camera. The camera is the spin wheel. You can do that by clicking start virtual camera. But let me show you first how to add the window capture. So what you want to do for adding the window capture is since you'll see the spin wheel sitting in your right stream preview, click the plus button right here in sources. Just, you know, you can choose, you can make a specific scene. You can name it spin wheel if you want to be organized. And uh, from there, just click the plus button. I'm in my scene too, it doesn't matter what scene you're in, but click plus and then click uh, window capture, right? And then just name it spin wheel. So at least you have some organization, right? And then from there, it's, uh, ooh, that's kind of big. Hold on, hold on one second. From there, it's going to be um, one of these. So you're going to click window right here. And then you just want to select wheel of names, random name picker. And just click the automatic capture method and click OK. And then once it's here, you just want to drag it to the top. And uh, this is a little bit big. Uh, let me see if I can just make this smaller. I'm going to fit this to screen. As you can see, I have the spinning wheel right here. And if you want to crop it, like, so it doesn't <laughs> fill out, fill up the whole screen, um, what you want to do is you want to hold Alt. So it's in the bottom left of your keyboard. You want to hold Alt, and then you want to drag on this, uh, you want to drag on this border right here. So you can crop it like this, right? And you can do it for the other side, right? And then from there, you have the spin wheel. Um, obviously this doesn't look perfect right now. I'm just showing you an example. And then from there, you want to go to the browser source. So I'll just leave it in the uh, bottom right here. You want to go back and you want to choose the specific name. So I can say person one, person two, person three, person four, right? And then from there, I can just hit a control enter, right? And then it picks the person like that. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'll like, uh, like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed it and it helped you. And I'll see you later.